Hey guys, in this video we're talking about Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. So the formula says Fg, or the force of gravity, equals g m1 m2 over r squared. g is a constant, which means it never changes. It is always equal to 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11, and the units are Newton times meters squared over kilograms squared. So that is the same in every question you'll do. M1 is the mass of the first thing, M2 the mass of the second thing, and R squared is the distance between the centers of the masses. So if we had the gravity Earth is exerting on Mars, R squared will go from the center of the Earth, the distance, to the center of Mars. That will be equal to R. So R you might have to think about it a little bit because like in the question we're going to do, we're told that the distance an object is above Earth. So we're told this distance. But that distance is not the distance between the center of the masses. The center of the Earth is down here. So we need to add on also the radius of the Earth. So in your formula sheets, you should be given stuff like gravitational constant and radius of the Earth. If you're not, just so you know, the radius of the Earth is 6.37 times 10 to the power of 6 meters. So we've got a question, and it says, find the gravitational force of a 70 kilogram asteroid that is 6.37 times 10 to the power of 6 meters above the Earth. The mass of the Earth's FYI is 5.98 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms. This is a question like this. We're told this distance here was 6.37 times 10 to the power of 6, and then we also need to add on the radius of the Earth so that we get the distance between the centers of the asteroid and the Earth. So when we add those together, I get that that's equal to 1, 2, 7, 4, and then 4 zeros. And that's going to be equal to r in this question. That r was the radius of the Earth. So we want the force of gravity that the objects exert on each other. So g. 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 times the mass of 1. The mass of the asteroid was 70, and the mass of the other, the mass of the Earth, is always 5.98 times 10 to the power of 24 kilograms, all divided by the distance between them, which is the radius that the or sorry, the distance the asteroid is from the surface of the Earth plus the radius of the Earth, which was this, one, two, seven, four, and then four zeros after that. And that is always squared. Really important that you square it. So I'll let you guys try doing that on your calculator yourselves. And I get when I just stick all that in my calculator, divide by that squared, and I get 172 newtons.